Hey party people, I'm John Smith from 95.9 KZHK, and this would be the Iraqumentary. Um, yeah. And so the first one here, this is the entrance of the, uh, the, the it's called the Victory Over Iran Palace. It was actually two palaces uh, built together as one. It started as the Victory Over Iran Palace. And over the door, he had uh, Iranian soldier helmets that he had taken from from the battlefield after after he would gas these Iranian soldiers. He would go around and have their soldiers collect all the helmets, and he used them in the architecture of this building, which is really creepy. Uh, so ten years later, uh, he started building the Victory Over America Palace to kind of commemorate the what he called the victory over the United States, the world's number one superpower. Um, he considered the Gulf War in the 1990s a victory because he tangled with the United States and didn't die. So he built a palace in honor of this, which we later bombed in 1998. Uh, people forget about that. And then he started rebuilding it again in the year 2000. So, hey, that's Saddam's toilet. The, 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 there wasn't running water. Um, That's pretty bizarre if you think about that. I peed on the roof of this palace, so I didn't really get to use the toilet. <laughs> um, yeah, this here, this this is cool. This is a, a bunker, uh, an elevator to one of the bunkers below the Victory Over America Palace. Uh, it still has the original boot prints from the soldiers who cleared the building in April of 2003, when American forces finally got to Baghdad on April 21st, uh, these th guys from, I believe, the 3rd Infantry uh, went in and cleared this building by hand, and you can still see the boot prints from where they kicked this door and the bullet holes from where they were shooting at whoever was on the other side. Pretty cool. This is the roof of the, uh, the Victory Over America Palace. That on the other side of the lake there is the Perfume Palace. That's where Saddam would keep his lady types. And he and bath party members would get to go and party at the Perfume Palace. It was like a nightclub in there and it was open just for Saddam and his bath party loyalists. We'll no longer that one because he signed it over in uh, RPC. Okay. This is the ballroom. So you're with you're with the 149. No? Mm -hmm. yeah. This got all messed up at the beginning well, yeah, of the war. This, this, this is, is how America parties in Saddam's ballroom. <laughs> uh, you see that big amount of wreckage over there? That's courtesy of the U.S. Air Force. Matt. That's where the JDAM came through. Yes. There's no uh, other place here that really looks like a JDAM strike, so not trying That's... to be sarcastic. Just putting it out there. You guys are following me this way. <laughs> Listen to 95.9 The Hawk remains unfinished. in St. So George. Kind of ironic, the only palace that was still under construction <laughs> at the time of the attack was the Victory Over America Palace. <laughs> How'd that I am work appointing out for you, John Saddam? Smith my Minister of Awesomeness. This I decree. See the bullet holes racked against that uh, pillar there. This is about the damn coolest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> we eject this place. You get a front row seat to some good old American kick ass. The Victory Over America Palace, I totally peed on the roof. I probably shouldn't admit to that, but I totally did. I peed on the roof. And that was the real victory. Yeah, <laughs> I declared victory. There's this room inside the uh, the perfume palace because he would use it for parties and stuff like that. The room was set up. There was a diamond in the floor, which has since been stolen. But you would stand on this diamond, and your voice would be ten times louder than if you were to take one step off of the diamond. So, like standing in the dead center of this room, like really amplified your voice. So I stood on that diamond and I farted really loud. <laughs> Did it, did it work? Oh, it totally did. It was so loud. So yeah, so there you go. Just a really cool experience going through some of these towers. Uh, First Sergeant shirts. 
and uh, we call him Top and uh, Lieutenant Peterson uh, going through that uh, going through those palaces with me man that was that was pretty insane that was a pretty cool experience so big thanks to the uh, to the 213th and the uh, Triple Deuce for uh, allowing me to go on out and see what uh, less than one percent of Americans have have been able to experience what a cool uh, what a cool time so big thanks to those guys stay tuned for uh, for episode two um, I don't know what that'll be yet but Iraqumentary part two coming soon right here at 95.9 KZHK.